Sulpiride, sold under the brand name Dogmatil among others, is an atypical antipsychotic, although some texts have referred to it as a typical antipsychotic medication of the benzamide class which is used mainly in the treatment of psychosis associated with schizophrenia and major depressive disorder, and sometimes used in low dosage to treat anxiety and mild depression. Sulpiride is commonly used in Asia, Central America, Europe, South Africa and South America. Levosulpiride is its purified levo isomer and is sold in India for similar purpose. It is not approved in the United States, Canada, or Australia. The drug is chemically and clinically similar to amisulpride. Medical uses Sulpiride's primary use in medicine is in the management of the symptoms of schizophrenia. It has been used as both a monotherapy and adjunctive therapy, in case of treatment resistance, in schizophrenia. It has also been used in the treatment of dysthymia. Augmentation with sulfuride has also been tried as a strategy for accelerating antidepressant response in patients with major depressive disorder. There is also evidence of its efficacy in treating panic disorder. Sulfuride is indicated for the treatment of vertigo in some countries. Contraindications Contraindications Hypersensitivity to sulfuride Pre-existing breast cancer or other prolactin-dependent tumors Pheochromocytoma Intoxication with other centrally active drugs Concomitant use of levodopa Acute porphyria Comatose state or CNS depression Bone marrow suppression cautions Pre-existing Parkinson's disease Patients under 18 years of age, insufficient clinical data Pre-existing severe heart disease, bradycardia, or hypokalemia predisposing to long QT syndrome and severe arrhythmias Patients with pre-existing epilepsy. Anticonvulsant therapy should be maintained Lithium use Increased risk of neurological side effects of both drugs. Pregnancy and lactation Pregnancy, animal studies did not reveal any embryotoxicity or fetotoxicity, nor did limited human experience. Due to insufficient human data, pregnant women should be treated with sulfuride only if strictly indicated. Additionally, the newborns of treated women should be monitored, because isolated cases of extrapyramidal side effects have been reported. Lactation, sulfuride is found in the milk of lactating women. Since the consequences are unclear, women should not breastfeed during treatment. Side effects Sulfuride is usually well tolerated, producing few adverse effects. Their incidences are as follows, common, greater than 1%, adverse effects, dizziness, headache, extrapyramidal side effects, tremor, dystonia, akathisia, a sense of inner restlessness that presents itself with the inability to stay still, Parkinsonism, somnolence, not a very prominent adverse effect considering its lack of alpha-1 adrenergic, histamine and muscarinic acetylcholine receptor affinity, insomnia, weight gain or loss, hyperprolactinemia, elevated plasma levels of the hormone, prolactin which can, in turn lead to sexual sexual dysfunction, galacteria, amenorrhea, gynecomastia, etc., nausea vomiting nasal congestion anticholinergic adverse effects such as dry mouth, constipation, blurred vision impaired concentration rare, tardive dyskinesia, a rare, often permanent movement disorder that, more often than not, results from prolonged treatment with antidopaminergic agents such as antipsychotics. It presents with slow, hence tardive, involuntary, repetitive and purposeless movements that most often affect the facial muscles. Neuroleptic malignant syndrome, a rare, life-threatening complication that results from the use of antidopaminergic agents. Its incidence increases with concomitant use of lithium, medication, salts, blood dyscrasias, rare, sometimes life-threatening complications of the use of a number of different antipsychotics, most notably clozapine, which involves abnormalities in the composition of a person's blood, e.g. having too few white blood cells per unit volume of blood. 
Examples include, agranulocytosis, a significant drop in white blood cell count, leaving individuals wide open to life-threatening opportunistic infections, neutropenia, leukopenia, leukocytosis seizures, torsades de points unknown incidents adverse effects include QTC interval prolongation which can lead to potentially fatal arrhythmias. Cholestatic jaundice elevated liver enzymes primary biliary cirrhosis allergic reactions photosensitivity sensitivity to light skin rashes depression catatonia palpitations agitation diaphoresis sweating without a precipitating factor e.g. increased ambient temperature hypotension low blood pressure hypertension high blood pressure venous thromboembolism probably rare overdose sulfuride has a relatively low order of acute toxicity Substantial amounts may cause severe but reversible dystonic crises with torticollis, protrusion of the tongue, and or trismus. In some cases all the classical symptoms typical of severe Parkinson's disease may be noted, in others, over-sedation, coma may occur. The treatment is largely symptomatic. Some or all extrapyramidal reactions may respond to the application of anticholinergic drugs such as bipridin or benzotropine. All patients should be closely monitored for signs of long QT syndrome and severe arrhythmias. Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics Sulfuride is a selective antagonist at dopamine D2 and D3 receptors. This action dominates in doses exceeding 600 mg daily. In doses of 600 to 1,600 mg sulfuride shows mild sedating and antipsychotic activity. Its antipsychotic potency compared to chlorpromazine is only 0.2, In low doses, in particular 50 to 200 mg daily, its prominent feature is antagonism of presynaptic inhibitory dopamine receptors accounting for some antidepressant activity and a stimulating effect. Therefore, it is in these doses used as a second-line antidepressant. Additionally, it alleviates vertigo. The benzamide neuroleptics, including sulfuride, amisulpride, and sultopride, have been shown to activate the endogenous gamma-hydroxybutyrate receptor in vivo at therapeutic concentrations. Sulfuride was found in one study in rats to upregulate GHB receptors. GHB has neuroleptic properties and it is believed binding to this receptor may contribute to the effects of these neuroleptics. Sulfuride, along with clozapine, has been found to activate DNA demethylation in the brain. Chemistry Synthesis Sulfuride can be synthesized from 5-aminosulfosalicylic acid. Methylating this with dimethylsulfate gives 2-methoxy-5-aminosulfonylbenzoic acid, which is transformed into an amide using 2-amino-methyl-1-ethylpyrrolidine as the amine component and carbonyldimidazole CDI, as a condensing agent. History Sulfuride was discovered as a result of a research program by Justin Buzanson and C. Laville at Laboratoires de Lagrange who were working to improve the anti-dysrhythmic properties of procainamide. The program led first to metoclopramide and later to sulfuride. Laboratoires de Lagrange was acquired by Synthalabo in 1991 which eventually became part of Sanofi. Society and culture Brand names Sulfuride is marketed under the brand names Dogmatil, D, H, K, S, G, P, H, Dolmatil, I, E, U, K, Eglonil, Ru, Za, Aspiride, Za, Modal, Il, Prometer, U, Y, and Sulfur, U, K, among many others. Research Sulfuride has been studied for use as a hormonal contraceptive in women in whom conventional oral contraceptives are contraindicated and to potentiate progestogen-only contraceptives. The contraceptive effects of sulfuride are due to its prolactin-releasing and antigonadotropic effects and the hyperprolactinemia amenorrhea state that it induces. References <laughs>